Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today, Moments Extreme is here. Pretty much the extreme program. The cards are stacked, and the moments are hard. You got a Mike Piazza in here, a Matt Kane, a Ken Griffey Jr. Hold up, let me go back to the beginning. First card you get is a 2019 All-Star Game, Cattell Marte, and a, and a Billy the Kid, Billy Wagner. You got a good thing. You can get draft and home run derby and all-star game. Packs out of it, as you can see. They're good. And you can get a choice pack. It's good. It's a good program. You you get you get the cards and they're good. But Moments are insanely hard. 25 total bases in four games for three. You don't even get anything for that. Four extra base hits in one game for three. See what I mean? Four hits, tally one triple, one home run in one game. Get on base four times. That might be the easiest moment in here. This might be the easiest moment. So I'm going to do it and explain to you what the extreme program is. Well, I attempt to complete this so as i load into this um the extreme program is a insanely hard program you have to uh, um do moments that are extremely hard and by doing that you unlock hard or uh, good cards but they're insanely hard to get and everything in here is just everything you have to do is super super duper hard this right here is the easiest moment here. And it's get on base four times. So. Yeah. And this honestly isn't that easy. But it's the easiest one in here. Um, Moments Extreme is insanely hard. All moments, all missions. The Extreme program is insanely hard. And that's the point of it. But the outcome is insane. You get a bunch of new cards. Cool cards like the 99 King Griffey Jr. and you're just gonna your team's just gonna overall get better if you can complete it. It's pretty good. Um, it's just insane. Like it's a hard program to complete, but once you complete it and as you're working through it, your team's gonna get upgraded a ton. And it's just a overall. It it. See, I just struck out looking. It might be hard, but the outcome you get is good. So it's worth grinding, which is what I'm about to do after I finish recording this video. It is worth grinding. Right now, this video is going to be up while I'm on stream. I'm streaming right now at Noah Op from YT on Twitch. Link in the description of this video. Um, also, go cop the merch. Um, hold up. Let me show you hat design we have so far. I don't know if I'm going to drop these or just have one for me to wear in videos or so. Here you can go. You can see while I complete this moment hat right there. And I also finally got a hit with Matt Clark. I'm just filling that in just because I feel like that's important. But as I was explaining, moments extreme, pretty hard. It's pretty hard. But it's worth the grind. You're going to sit there. It's probably going to take. It's 3 p.m. right now. It'll probably take about. Six hours to finish all the moments. I would say approximately that. If you're an average base player, if you're really good, it might take three hours, maybe four. Three and a half is what I would say for a great, for a good player. And for a great player, it'll take about an hour and a half, maybe two. There's a lot of moments and stuff. Um, all for the moments, you're not going to complete the entire program. You have to do missions and stuff. Probably gain parallel XP. Probably do all this. It's a hard program, but the outcome is worth it. My controller is dead. Let me plug it back in. But yes, as I was saying, the outcome is worth it. The grind. Um, I'm gonna be grinding until I get to at least Catel Marte. Um, and I will have one. I'm gonna finish all the moments most likely and have a video out soon of um all the players on one team debuted. So, yeah, that's pretty much Moments Extreme. It's just, really, it's the program of hard moments to complete. But once you complete them, your team's going to be insane. 
afterwards. And you're going to get a lot of packs through this program. So, if I were you, I would get on your grind immediately right now. It just dropped about five minutes ago, and I've been recording since it dropped. So, yes, I've been recording since it dropped. It's 3.05, and I've been recording for five minutes. Um, And the video is probably going to be like a seven-minute video. Once I finish this moment, I will show you. Oh, uh, take actually, you know what? Right now, I'm gonna take a deep dive into this program. I don't know that I'm gonna finish this moment right now, but I will have Kato Marte and do a debut. I'm gonna do separate debuts, um, just because it takes a while to finish all of them, and I can spread out different videos. So, Kato Marte will be my next video. Okay, why did my controller disconnect? It's plugged in. Okay, here we go. Alright, so the first thing you're going to get is this emoji thing. Not that much. Five packs here. Pretty good. Cattell Marte. Let's take a look at these stats. You got 116 versus lefty, or versus righties and 120 versus lefties. More of a contact middle guy. Blame pretty much every position except for first and third. And catcher. I'm probably going to plug him at shortstop because George Brett sucks right now. So I'm going to throw him there. So get him. Here you get the random pack diamond duos. You get one it's like it's you get a random pack. I don't I don't I can't explain it. You get an icon. Five ball is a habits. And then you'll get Billy the Kid, Billy Wagner, probably as of right now with one twenty five hits per nine. I'm gonna say this is the best reliever in the game right now that you can possibly get. So you're gonna want to get him as quick as possible here. Diamond duos, Justin Morneau and Joe Musgrove, a new Pack 30, that's in the item shop. I'm going to rip one of them here. Actually, no, I think they're 30K. I don't know. If I have enough subs, I'll rip the choice pack. This Joe Musgrove is probably the best starter as of right now. The draft pack, you can get these guys. Um, It's it's not that good unless you get the rare round. If I get the rare round, I'm 100% taking Paul Skeens. Here, Mike Piazza. Catcher. Good. Probably. I don't know about the best catcher. If you have JT Romeo to the 99 and you use your wild card on him, then he's the best catcher possible. Um, but if you don't have him, this is the best catcher possible. Home run derby pack. You can get any of these guys. Honestly, pretty much a win-win no matter what, even if you get the rare or base round or mid round. Um, if you get the rare round, I would take Randy. If you get the base round, I would take probably Julio. If you don't get the – if you get the – or if you get the mid round, take Julio. If you get the base round, 100% take Adley or Mookie Betts, whoever you prefer. Adley, um, you probably shouldn't take because you'll have Mike Piazza. Um, but Mookie Betts, take him probably. More ball as I have. It's M Matt Kane. I don't know what I think about him. I don't know. He's got good hits for nine, but I don't know. You get an all star game pack. Out of this one, if you get the rare round, take Elias Diaz, um, just because he is the best player. Out of all of them, if you get the base or the mid round, take JD. And if you get the base round, take Yunir Cano. He is the, uh, you need relievers in set three. Relievers are hard and high overall one's good. 20 packs, and then you get a rare round choice pack. I will definitely be taking Paul Skins if I don't get him out of the draft pack. And then, at the end, once you get all 100 points and you finish every moment, every mission, everything, you finish the collection that you could uh, with Prime Bruce Sutter, Awards Tom Glavin, All-Star Game Javier Baez. I don't know. that, that I didn't know that card was in the game, but I'm going to get him right now after this. After I finish this video. As you guys can see, King Griffey Jr., probably one of the best cards. And he is a core card, I think. Are the all, yeah. He is the only core card in this set. Which means you're going to be able to use him forever. And he's got 125 power versus both righty and lefty. And good speed and good contact. Best card in the game other than the Commerce Common. But this right here is the best card in the game. I would recommend grinding out the program for him. I'll see you guys all on the next one. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Go cop the merch. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.